Away from the commotion of city life, rooted in traditions, are some people indifferent to the changing world and living in perfect harmony with nature and its laws. Their lives and surroundings give us a glimpse into a world that exists far away, either in the jungles or somewhere in the bookshelves or museums of our urban societies. There are over seven and a half million tribals in Gujarat, now popularly known as Vanbandhu. There are around 25 tribal groups, some of them having different dialects, but no script. They mainly inhabit the rugged terrain adjoining the Aravalis, the western ridges of Vindhya and Satpura mountains, and the northern slopes of the Sayadri ranges. Surat, Narmada, Baruj, Vadodra, Dahod, Panch Mahals, Sabar Kantha, and Banas Kantha. Most of the scheduled tribes are of Bheel and Gonkana origin that live in this region. Freckled and blithe, these tribals find special mention in the legendary epics like the Ramayana and the Mahabharat. Eklavya, one of the immaculate bowmen and an unseen disciple of Guru Drona was a Bheel. Bheels are the second largest tribal community in India. They are spread over Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. These people are dark in complexion and rarely fair-skinned. They have a strong build and are strong and stout in physique. In Gujarat, they are found more or less in all districts. They work as peasants, field workers, laborers, road constructors and daily wage earners. Traveling down south in the state of Gujarat, we come across the district of the Downs slightly different from the rest of the state in geographical disposition. Comprising of the sparkling torrential rivers, spectacular waterfalls, pristine teak forests and stunning wildlife, come the monsoons and this region turns into a nature lover's paradise. The Dangi tribals or Adivasis sprinkled like petals of a flower in this beautiful abode. Encompassing the extensive beautiful landscape, it has got strong links for the local tribals with nature and wealth of indigenous knowledge. The indigenous knowledge of herbs and nature is of great importance. Festivals are an integral part of tribal life. No matter whether it is a religious or a cultural ceremony, locals participate and involve themselves with spirit and enthusiasm. These simple tribal folk enjoy festivals wholeheartedly. Every year, just before Holi, they flock in thousands at the district headquarter and traditional local capital of Awa for the joyful fair of Dang Darbar. Darbar means ceremonial attendance in front of the Raja's court. Men and women with children come from distant places in their best dresses to attend the Darbar. They participate by singing and dancing at the fair. The tradition of the Dang Darbar dates back to the time of the British when the political agent used to pay an annual subsidy to the local rulers, the Rajas and the Nayaks, for the right to their lands in a somewhat placatory gesture to these fierce native tribes. Traditionally, the annual pension is distributed to five Rajas and their Nayaks for protecting the forest. To this day, the governor still officiates at the celebrations and thus continues the glorious tradition of the past. The natives start gathering at the venue a day before the celebrations, awaiting the commencement of festivities and the setting up of the local market. Here, in this market, people have plenty of things to buy, such as utensils, textiles, ornaments, groceries, etc. Such festivities, marketplaces and exposure to trends of the developed society has its influence on these natives as well. Traditionally, Dangis used to wear limited dresses. Earlier, males wore fentas or pagris, but now they wear white khadi caps, the lungot, 
or loin cloth is replaced by a dhoti and daglo or half shirt with kurta. The influence of Maharashtran dressing can be seen in the Dangi tribals due to its proximity to the neighboring state of Maharashtra. The sari girdle worn by women appears to be a remnant of the bark fiber girdle of ancient times. Women wear a lugda or small sari, which is a large sheet covering the lower portion of the body from waist up to the knee. Among Dangi women, the large nut or nose ring is highly sought after as it enhances their beauty and dignity. Another is the Horganti, a double chained silver necklace of one rupee coins. Tribals are naturalistic in religion. They worship animals such as the tiger, crocodile and snake as gods. Vagdev, the tiger god, is their sacred animal god and their emblem of worship. The other prominent intriguing scheduled tribes in Gujarat are Ratvas and Garasia Bheels. The Garasias are dispersed throughout the forest regions of Gujarat and Rajasthan in western central India. Their language is an Indo-Aryan dialect belonging to the Peel subgroup. The Garasias typically live in one-room houses made with mud and bamboo walls. Houses are usually built on the slopes of hills with their fields extending out in front. Dresses that this Garasia tribal community wears are quite exquisite. Both men and women of this tribe love to dress. The men usually wear red or white turbans and long sleeve shirts. The women wear black or red blouses, locally known as zulki, and big red petticoats. The women mostly wear silver ornaments, such as Ram Nomi, Pandari Ali Har, or necklace of metal leaves, and Vedla in ears, Darshaniya, and Gujariya on wrists. Gold and silver Chada, Jhanjri, Bediu, or Sankla or Kambi Kadla on ankles. Every year, just after a fortnight of Holi, the Chitra Vichitra Fair is held at the confluence of three rivers, namely Akul, Pyakul and Sabarmati, near the village of Poshina in Sabarkantha district. Here the Garasiya Bheels flock in on the foothills of Arabali, the tribal heartland of Gujarat for a joyful ride. Tribes have cultural boundaries rather than geographical boundaries. Proximity to Rajasthan border attracts many Garasia Bheels from the adjoining state to participate in this fair. It is one of the largest tribal fairs organized in Gujarat. The fair has taken up its name from King Shantanu's two sons, Chitravirya and Vichitravirya of Mahabharat, who were cured from their diseases at the place of the fair. The place is held in high esteem and is supposed to have divine powers. The themes that are taken up for rendition are the twin themes of mourning and nostalgia for the dead and long gone tribal ancestors, and finally, the materialization of conjugal union amongst the members of the Bheel community. This fair offers a lifetime opportunity to witness the lifestyle of thousands of Garasia Beel tribe. The Ratvas in Gujarat mainly inhabit the Vadodara district. Traditionally, they can easily be identified with their stout body, fair skin and well-built structure. Ratvas can be seen at their colourful best at Holi during the Kavant festival near Chota Udaipur. Revel in their folk dances and music and see a Basuri playing youth and peacock feathered dancers 
mesmerizing onlookers with the chum chum echoing sound of pebble filled gourds and ghungurus tied around their waists in the rathwa tribe it is customary to keep a pithora these are wall pictures containing religious legends on a wall pithora painting the spectacular art of the tribals is highly regarded among the rathwa community these paintings are much more than colorful images on the walls of the locals the colors used in the pithora paintings are prepared from natural sources like grass turmeric and rice powder etc fresh brushes a piece of green bamboo and a palette of primary colors are prepared for a new painting in honor of god in painting a marriage procession of pithora and pithori is depicted and most important the legend of the pithora is painted celebration of the pithora ritual is done by creating a large painting on the walls of the house to satisfy the deities animal sacrifice is done it ensures the protective presence of the pithora this artistic ritual of ratwas lasts over 3 days a process marked with dedication and spirit it is commissioned for many reasons but chiefly to pacify baba pithora in the times of trouble and hardships and also to show gratitude when a wish has been granted Ratwa bheels follow arranged marriages and certainly you observe clan exogamy here very often Here they are singing their local folk songs and performing a folk dance to celebrate the wedding rite blissfully Locals have astounding images and tattoos on their body It is due to their superstitious nature and credulous behavior They believe that this form of body art will help them get rid of all their personal traumas and troubles. In their everyday life, they use their selection of traditional ornaments and tattooing in order to satisfy their aboriginal artistic impulses of embellishment. Ratwas rear cows, buffaloes, bullocks, goats, and fowl for additional income. Their major source of income is selling of cattle in the Kavant market. Occupied with agricultural activity, they sell products at weekly hearts. The tribal groups may not have the chronological certainties, but their inimitable lifestyle indicates that they belong to a distinct cultural heritage and an unrevealed historical background. Dancing to the tunes of native beats. Tribals have dancing and singing at the heart of their culture. Decked up to represent the beliefs and rituals, they participate in these dances with all their fervor. Categorically, we may find these tribal roots in different groups and customs, but to an extent, they are alike and immutable. Right from ancient to medieval India, and even today, Adivasis follow their widespread and unremitting traditions, attitudes and gospels. Immensely endowed with beliefs and values, rituals and faiths, Adivasis truly symbolize the colors of ethnicity, spirit and ecstasy. It has been an undeniable fact that they portray and landscape the groundbreaking and the baffling roots of Gujarat.